So I guess just to start, uh, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Anthony Ondier. And just to, to kind of start and dive into some of the questions, question number one, how and where do you feel like you belong in terms of, you know, your, your identity and what community do you feel strongly attached to? If I were to link it to my identity, because I am a mixed kid of French descent and Filipino, so 50-50 on each side, I live in a community where the majority of the people who live around here are Filipino. So let's, I could say quite half of me fits around here and the other half really doesn't because I'm where the minority is the French, uh, the minority is the French side here. But then when I, for example, when I go to school, my, it's the opposite. The minority is the Filipino side. So I can't exactly say I would fit in I can't find an ideal place where I would fit in. But if I look at the whole aspect of it, at the cultural differences in Vancouver, I could say I just fit in perfectly fine. So do you ever feel like there's maybe an intersection between your two halves being a mixed kid? Or do you think they, they tend to complement each other quite well? I say they tend to complement each other quite well, honestly. Like genetically, it's a mad, it's pretty cool. But then if I were to say like in uniqueness, it'd be quite amazing. But they don't like just having both the mix of the cultures and having being introduced to both at practically the same time is quite amazing in itself. And I find it very lucky for me to be able to like even have that. So I guess, well, yeah. Well, I guess I'll ask you a two-sided question. First, I'll start with one side. I mean, how, to what group do you feel like you, you kind of really belong? Do you, do you feel like, there, do you ever have any questions of identity? Do you feel like you really belong to a group? <laughs> yeah, I have that quite a bit actually. Cause you know, you know me, we both went to a French school, right? So in going to a full French school, it makes you more linked to your French side more cause you actually speak the language. I do not speak Tagalog, the national language of the Philippines. I do not speak that language exactly. so. I feel more closer to that French side in terms of speaking the language and being embraced in the culture. But when it comes to like family gatherings and all that, I am more embraced in the Filipino side because my whole family is here in the, from the Philippines that are here, the majority of them. Well, kind so, of on the, oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead, pardon no, me. No, it's fine, that was basically it. I was gonna say on the flip side, do, do you ever feel like you don't belong in a certain community? Do you ever feel like you're, you're a bit of an outsider in a sense? Do you ever feel that even doesn't have to be Filipino or French, just communities in general? Do you ever feel like you're, you're a bit of an outsider at the same time? I had like, I could say I had two experiences. Of this First is when I'm here hanging out with all my Filipino friends. They all call me the white boy here, which is quite ironic. But like, I have that quite a bit here, but it's not as big. I'm used to it because I'm born with it. But when I went to Nelson, actually, the other day, I mean, the last year, I went with my friends who are all Caucasian, all white, and there was, I was the only brown, like brown, I was the only tinted color kid there, right? So when I went, and I was hanging out with all these other kids who are, of course, white, they live in Nelson, not many, there's not much diversity there. And uh, I felt, I felt pretty out of place, like pretty out of place. Even one girl said the comment, yeah, that kid's different. I don't know in what way did she mean that, but <laughs> I was actually different. That's what made me realize I was pretty different from most of the kids here. So I felt pretty out of place when I went to there in small towns in British Columbia. Well, I guess an interesting question that you, you probably get a lot. I'm sure we all, we all get a lot. How does it, how do you react? How do you feel when someone asks you the question, where are you from? What's your first thought? So when, 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 when someone's asked, cause I mean, I find, I like that question, honestly. I think it's like a perfect, in terms of conversation start, I think it's amazing. Like it creates a conversation, especially if that person is from a different country as well. It makes quite a bond between each other. And I think I take it as a compliment because I get to explain my story, explain who I am without them assuming who I am. Because I identify like racially ambiguous where you can't really tell where I'm from. So I honestly, I like how people take the time and to ask where I'm from and they sound interested about it. So 